Okay, fourth grade, now we're on module seven, lesson 12. And we're going to take a little bit of a departure from the multiple step word problems that we've been working on, but we're still going to hang in there with conversions. Only this time, we're going to be looking at how measurement tools convert mixed number measurements to smaller measurements. So we're going to be starting with larger measurements. Here's an example of the types of problems that we're going to be working on today. One of the first questions says to draw a tape diagram to show two and two thirds yards is equivalent to eight feet. So the way we're going to be looking at, at that is we want to make sure that we are drawing a tape diagram. So since it says to draw a tape diagram and it says two and two thirds yards. So I know I'm going to be doing yards and I'm going to be converting them into feet. And I know that one yard is equivalent to three feet. That's a conversion conversion we've been working on. So here is one yard, and that yard has three feet in it. Here's a second yard. That yard has three feet in it. So I've got my two yards, and now it says two thirds. Well, I don't have to draw a whole nother yard. I just have to draw one, two of those because I'm drawing two thirds, one third and two third. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two times three plus two more is equivalent to eight feet. That's what a tape diagram of two and two thirds yards would be to show eight feet. So I'm going to be using the homework page and you have your problem sets. It's going to look a little bit differently. And right here it says draw a tape diagram to show one half gallon is equivalent to two quarts. So I'm going to be starting from gallons to quarts. And I know that in one gallon there are four quarts. So here I've got one gallon and half of it, it says a half gallon is equivalent to two quarts. But I know, here's my half gallon, that a gallon is equivalent to four quarts. So if I divide it into half, I've got this one and I've got this one. So here is my two quarts. A half gallon is equivalent to two quarts. So when you're drawing the tape diagram, you're going to be paying attention to the units that you're going to be breaking it down into one and three-fourths gallons is equivalent to seven quarts. So again, if I start with a whole gallon and I'm breaking it up into quarts because I know there are four quarts in a gallon, that's one gallon. Then it says three-fourths more. So there's three-fourths, one, two, three-fourths. I don't need that one right over there. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a tape diagram that shows the equivalent of one gallon plus three-fourths of a gallon. Now, as I move to the bottom of this, I notice that they only give you one number line and they're gonna convert it into feet. And as you look at this, I like to start with the lightest color pen I have. And then I can use the same number line, just increasingly getting the markers darker. That way I don't have to keep rewriting it. So this says one half foot is equivalent to how many inches? So here's my feet, it's lined up right against the number line that is has 12 inches, and it says one half the foot. So I know one half of 12 is whoop, right down the middle, and one half is equivalent to six inches, because one half right in the middle is six inches. Now, on the next one, it, it wants to know the fraction, so it's got something over 12 some twelfth of a foot is one fourth of a foot, and that's equivalent to how many inches. So they're looking at this to say, well, if I were to take this foot, and if I were to break it up into, uh, let's do three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I have four spaces there. One, two, three, four. So I know that if I have four, as uh, if I break it up into four equal pieces, each piece, let's see, this is gonna be three twelfths. Three twelfths of a foot is gonna be equal to one quarter of a foot, and that's gonna be equivalent to three inches. You're gonna be using that number line all the way through it to be looking at it and seeing, well, if, for example, two thirds of a foot. Well, I'm gonna to have to break this now up instead of into fourths, I need to break it up into thirds. So 12 divided by three is four. So I can take fourths, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
one, two, three, four. There's that one right there. And one, two, three, four, using my orange. So as I do that one, I can say, well, four twelfths of a foot is equivalent. Oh, no, not four twelfths, eight twelfths right here, because there's two of them. One, two. Apologize. Eight twelfths is equivalent to two thirds of a foot, and eight twelfths is equivalent to eight inches. So you're going to be using the number line and the tape diagram to help you solve the problems on the bottom. Now, as you look at the next one, we're going to be going back to solving tape diagrams, kind of using that background information to figure out, well, how can I take two and two-thirds yards and convert it into feet? So as I look at that, I've got two and two-thirds yards. So I've got here's one yard, here's two yards, and then I've got to do a two-thirds. Well, if each yard is converted into three, and I don't need this third one because I only need two thirds right there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight feet right there. And this one is three and one third yards, and they want to convert that into feet. So I've got three and one third yards. So here's one yard, here's two yards, and then here's three yards. And then I've got one third more yards. Well, I know that each one of the yards is divided into three. So one third would be an additional, there's my one third. So I've got three feet, three feet, three feet, and one more foot right here. So this gives me three times three is nine plus one more would be 10 feet. Let's, let's uh, look down now at this one. I've got five and one fourth gallon, and I want to change that into quarts. Well, I remember good queens prefer chocolate. One gallon is four quarts, eight pints and 16 cups. So I'm going to be dealing with this part right here. One gallon is four quarts. So I've got five gallons right there. So here's one gallon, here's two gallons, here's three gallons, Here's four gallons, here's five gallons. So I've got five whole gallons, and then I've got one fourth more. Well, I know that each gallon is made up of four quarts, so one fourth of a gallon, one, two, three, four. So that would be a gallon broken up. I don't need these three quarts, I only need this one right here because it's one fourth. So I've got five full gallons and one fourth of a gallon. Well, if each one of these gallons is divided up into quarts, and I want to convert it all into quarts, then I could have four quarts, one, two, three, four, five, times five. So five gallons times the four quarts would be equal to 20 quarts. Then I would take that 20 quarts plus the one extra quart there, and I would have a total of 21 quarts. Just taking the numbers, converting them, and then re-adding them together so that you know what you're looking for. Right here, feet and inches. It's taking all the ones we've talked about. We have six and one fourth foot. Hmm. And we're going to convert that into inches. All right. Well, let's start with the feet, the things I know. So I have six feet. So here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. Here's five, here's six. I have six feet. And in every foot, in every one of those six feet, I have 12 inches. But then I've got this fraction of one fourth. So one fourth, well, I know that in an, a foot, if I were divided into four pieces, and that's 12 inches long divided by four, that would mean each one of these sections would be three inches. And this says I need to have one fourth of it. So I need to have one three inch. I don't need the rest of these. So I'm going to have all six of these feet plus this three inches. Well, six times 12, because I have six feet times 12 inches in each one of those feet, I would give me 72 inches. If I take that 72 inches and I add the three inches from this one, the answer is 75 inches. Six feet 
six and a quarter feet will translate or be equivalent to 75 inches. Well, friends, there you have it. All of that you will be doing today is converting larger units into smaller units. And give it a go. You're going to get your math books now, and you're going to practice lesson 12 of module 7. You're going to be taking larger units of measurement and breaking them up into smaller units of measurement, remembering your conversion charts.